How do you make more engaging videos? How do I get people to talk back to me in my videos? How do I get them to respond to my products and services? So in this episode, I'm gonna teach you and give you a checklist of things that you can do to help you make more engaging videos. That up next. Okay, you guys, so as content creators, we are consistently looking for new ways to engage with our audience. This is especially true in video. We, you know, the goal is, is that I say something of value, you know, I add value to you, you respond to that thing, and we kind of build a relationship now that we're, we're talking back and forth, building familiarity, kind of resonating with you guys on the content that you're needing or looking for, and we provide, you know, those tools and those resources to you guys because because we're trying to build a relationship with you. Now the benefits of having a relationship with your audience is that when your audience feels connected to you, they're much more likely to purchase from you. They're much more likely to engage with you. They're much more likely to um, respond on actions that you want them to take. Maybe you want them to like your Facebook or your social media pages, or maybe you want them to subscribe to your channel, or maybe you want them to purchase a product that you're offering. In order to do that, you really have to kind of create this whole relationship thing um, through your videos. And the first step is really creating more engagement through your videos. So how do you even hold the attention of the people watching your videos? The average um, lifespan or we'll say view span of a, of a video that's produced on YouTube or Facebook Live, it doesn't really matter, is about three seconds. They tune in, maybe if they hear, if they like what they hear, then they'll continue watching. If not, they're gonna fall off. So there's a couple of things that you can do to help engage your audience all the way through your video. So the first thing on your checklist is to provide curiosity. You wanna make a bold statement. You want to make a statement that tells them what you're going to say, but you wanna creatively say that thing in a way that compels them to wanna to watch more. So you're kind of evoking a level of curiosity. There's a couple of different ways that you can do that. If you wanna go deeper, then inbox me on that particular thing of, you know, but the whole goal is to really provide this, you know, evoking this level of curiosity that makes me wanna watch more. So you can maybe start it off with a question or just make a really bold statement at the beginning of your video. That way a person knows immediately what it is that you're, this video is talking about and why they, should, why they should watch it. So the second thing on your checklist is to get to the point. There's nothing more annoying than you trying to look for a video that's gonna show you how to do something and they take forever to get to the point. Now this is not a hard and fast rule because on just cer several different platforms or on different platforms, there could be kind of different rules that apply. So if you're doing a pre-recorded video, when it comes to anything that's on demand, people want stuff right away. So if you're promising something at the beginning of the video, they want you to get to the point right away. Now. This, again, like I said, is not a hard and fast rule because when it comes to live platforms, it can take a while for your audience to kind of build up and then you're saying hello to people and you're doing all of this stuff at the beginning of your videos. So that's kind of, you know, okay for you to kind of wait and kind of fill, fill time in those instances. But if you're creating something that you want to be posted on YouTube where people can find it and kind of get what they need right away, then you wanna to get to the point. The third thing on your checklist is to deliver on your brand promise. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever watched a video that said you were gonna learn such and such, and then you know you watch the whole video and you're disappointed because they never really got to the actual thing that they said that they were going to provide. You must always, always, always deliver on the promise that you made at the beginning of the video. It would be a shame if I told you I was going to give you a checklist on how to increase your engagement and then I never really got to the checklist and I said, you know, well, we didn't get to the checklist so on the next video we'll get to that. Nobody wants that, you guys. Deliver on the promise that you promised.
Number four on your checklist for increasing engagement is to offer exclusive access or value that only you can give. Now, this is important because when a person is going through their Facebook or they're going through their YouTube and they're looking at content, we are bombarded with content. And a lot of times you can remember what maybe what the person said, but you don't remember who actually um, provided that information for you. So, you know, providing and offering exclusive value will kind of get people on your list, then you'll be able to market to them again at a later date, and they'll never forget who you are and the value that you bring to the space. So that kind of starts the whole um, relationship process when you offer something of exclusive value so that they can kind of follow you, maybe, um, you know, you want them to join your email list and you say, we get exclusive insights and things like that only through my email list. And then once they're on your list, you, you're able to build that relationship. So that is an engagement tool that is necessary. You always, always, always on every single video want to offer an exclusive value at the end of that video so that that person has an opportunity to follow you and follow the rest of your work. So super important. So the last thing on that list is to make sure that you request an action. Requesting two different types of action is really gonna be, take you places when it comes to um, increasing your engagement on videos. The first requesting action that you wanna do is to request a follow action. So please follow us and share this video out, subscribe. Those are the kinds of actions that you want to make sure that you include at the end of your video, right? And then, um, also, you want to request an engagement action. So you may ask a question at the end of your video or now that you've delivered a level of value, you might say, so this is my checklist. What are some things that you guys do to um, increase engagement on your videos? And then you start the conversation that way. So that's a really great way is to kind of ask your audience a question at the end of your videos to increase engagement as well. So I hope that you have found that helpful it's really all I have for you today and see how I'm doing this if you like that video please like share and subscribe we want to hear from you join the conversation over on the website and if you want to go deeper into the content that we discussed today you can do that by inboxing us our email is at the bottom um, of this video as well as you are able to get exclusive you see how I'm doing this? Insider information, tools, and resources by joining our VIP crew. I hope to see you there. That's all. Bye.